Hi, I'm Randy McAbee, Tackle Warehouse Pro, and we're out here on Lake Lopez today. And we're going to be targeting fish on the main lake points with a Bastard dredger. Uh, we're out here, it's fall, water temperature's starting to cool down. So these fish are setting up out on these main lake points, and they're taking their, they're headed to their, their wintering grounds, but they're trying to feed up before they actually get down there to that, you know, down there 50, 60 feet of water. So this bait, the neatest thing about this bait is it is designed to make a long cast and it'll actually sink down there as far as you want it to sink. 40, 50, 60 feet. Where a conventional crankbait is basically a cast and wind and uh, you know to get one down 20 foot is a lot of effort. With this bait here, I like to set up on a point, throw it out towards the end of the point out into the main channel and let it sink all the way to the bottom. The biggest thing about this bait is you want to be patient. You got to have patience and there's a lot of learning curve to fish in this bait. It's not a, a chunk and wind. So you got to throw it out there, have the patience to let this bait fall to the bottom. And then once it hits the bottom, you got to have the patience to fish it back to the boat. It's not hit the bottom and then wind it in as fast as you can like a crankbait. What happens is when these things fall to the bottom, there's a loop in your line. And when you just start reeling it in, it'll actually pull it up off the bottom and back to the boat. So you throw it out, hits the bottom. What I like to do is make a couple of cat or a couple of winds of the reel, let it fall back to the bottom. I may do a, a big sweep, makes that dart, uh, that bait dart around the rocks, let it fall back to the bottom, and uh, I'll actually catch a lot of fish on this bait when I make the, that long sweep and pull it real hard, and keep that line tight because I'll actually catch a lot of fish when that bait's falling back to the bottom. I just want to dance this thing around the rocks until I find a school of active fish on a point that's ready to eat and uh, they can actually become really easy to catch down there in that 30-40 foot range. The setup I like to use when throwing this dredger is it's an 8 foot cranking rod, medium heavy. Uh, I like a little bit stiffer rod. It helps me set the hook down in that deeper depths and feel what that bait's doing a lot better. Um, I'm using a 12 pound fluorocarbon line. I'm using a Daiwa Zillion Baitcaster 7-3 to 1. Um, that way I can pick up a lot of line if I feel a bite down there deep. And uh, we'll get out of this wind, get back over to the marina and some cover and uh, we'll go over all this gear that I like to use and go into a little bit more detail about how, to, how I like to apply this to fish in a dredger. The gear we were using today was a Bass Star dredger. Um, the cool thing about this crankbait is, is you can fish this crankbait at any depth. The thing is with this, it's not like a conventional crankbait. You just don't chuck and wind. Uh, you got to have a little bit of patience and it takes a little bit of a learning curve to fish this bait. Uh, to be able to, to fish it effectively down there in 40 foot of water, you got to make a long cast, let it sink to the bottom. This bait will sit on the bottom just like that. And it's not, once it hits the bottom, you just don't start uh, reeling in because this bait, it'll, you'll pull it up off the bottom and you'll lose bottom contact. It is, it, it's a lot of finesse. It's a pull of the rod, let it sink again. A pull of the rod, let it sink again. Or you can reel it real fast, let it sink. I've actually caught a lot of fish on this bait on the fall. So it just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of a learning curve. And this, this bait right here is deadly down in there in 30, 40 foot of water because I've never seen a crankbait down that deep. The line I'm throwing it on is 10 pound gamma fluorocarbon. I like fluorocarbon line because it sinks, it's heavy in the water. Um, it doesn't, it, it helps keep that bait down in the, uh, in the strike zone better. And it's also got lower stretch. So when I get bit down there in 30, foot of, 30 or 40 foot of water, I've got a, a more positive hook set. The reel I throw these on, it's a Daiwa Zillion. It's 7.3 to 1. Uh, it's a little bit faster paced reel than most would uh, crank with. But I use it because when you're down there in 30, foot of, 30 or 40 foot of water, you can pick line up a lot faster. Uh, you can walk it around the rocks and burn it a little bit and then let the bait sink down a little bit more. Um, it's just something that I'm used to and prefer over the slower reels. The rod it's on, it's a Dobbins Champion Series 805 crankbait rod. It's a Randy McAbee Signature Series rod. Um, I built this rod eight foot long 
with a lot of backbone and a really soft tip for a couple reasons. With the backbone, when you make those long casts with a crankbait and you just got trouble hooks in that fish, you need a lot of pulling power when that fish is a long ways out there to keep him button. Uh, put a soft tip on there and a really fast tip for throwing the bait. Uh, the biggest biggest thing about throwing a crankbait is when you put this bait here and you're throwing it this way, you want it to go from this way to this way as fast as possible. It keeps them baits from tumbling in the air. If you, if you let go of that, that line and start to throw that bait and it's only sideways in the air, you're going to lose all kinds of distance on your cast. So with a really fast rod, you can get that bait from this direction to this direction, headed out into the lake a lot faster with this rod. All this gear is available at TackleWarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Randy McAbee. Check back next week for some more fall fishing tips.